My name is Howard Nemirov, and I will be teaching the Neuromuscular Therapy Nemirov Method at Lauderstein Conway School. About 27 years ago, I started becoming frustrated with seeing the same patterns in my clients return time after time. Uh, fortunately, I was introduced to motor control theory, so I was able to learn how to help the client's brain relearn and reintegrate movement very quickly during my session. What we'll be doing in the class is looking at core compensation, lower extremity and upper extremity patterns that you find very often on your table. And you will learn how to integrate my work into what you're already doing so that your clients will walk out feeling stronger with more range of motion and strength and greater flow. When I was doing the intake with Shannon, I learned that she was a ballet dancer and that her left leg was a post leg. And the assessment kind of validated that she was much more comfortable putting weight on her left leg than she was in balancing in gravity on both legs evenly. Right? One of the things we found is, is that she shortens her left side obliques a little bit and that her left quadratus lumborum is compensating for her obliques. So we're going to correct that now. I'm going to first do a, a basic test of the internal oblique, match my pressure. Okay, and not too bad, but it's a little off, and she lifted her left thigh up a little bit to, to try and balance out match. And here on the external oblique, she's lifting up the right thigh a little bit to try and make up for what the oblique is not doing. We primed the motor learning function. It says, well, those didn't feel very strong, so how do I do that? Now I'm releasing the compensating muscle, which in this case is the left quadratus lumborum. Okay, and then we will go back to retest those functions that we found weak at, at the onset. Match my pressure. Good, and we have much better response. Match. Okay, so with both obliques, both left side obliques, much more stability, much less movement in the thighs to try and counterbalance because now the motor center realizes that it can engage those obliques without first contracting the quadratus lumborum. And as a result, it now remembers how to move more efficiently by activating the obliques by themselves.